going on guys today I'm going to be trying to fabricate a uh, drive-by wire adapter because the car used to be drive-by cable for the throttle body um, the Forester's electronic throttle body so there was no actual cable it's just all electronic obviously um, the footprints of the gas pedals are different for the firewalls so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be cutting up this firewall to make an adapter plate for this my other option is to buy an iWire adapter bracket plate from them. It's 90 bucks plus shipping, so I figure I'll just hack that up to try to make something work. At least temporarily for this, because right now I can't even rev the motor. So that's kind of annoying, but see what goes on, I guess. All right, so we're going to be cutting out this bracket right here. Just got to cut here, here here and here this is the gas pedal from the uh, wagon as you can see these holes right here are very close and it's the correct offset for right here for where the electronic gas pedal mounts so I think just by cutting this off the vehicle putting some spacers back here, threading it into the factory location, my new gas pedal should be fine. And that should be a good enough bracket. So here's to uh, wishful thinking, I guess. I'm just going to hone out these holes a little bit with the uni bit because the bolts I have to use, they're bigger. So it's kind of tight in here. Obviously, I'm laying down all comfortable like, as you can see. Honed out the holes. And if my eyeball calibration is correct, these will line up. I mean, that's pretty good. It's in. Oh, they thread in. Snug them down and let's see. Gas pedal is a little low, but maybe we'll bring it up a little bit. This will be good for just test fit, though. As you can see, tightened up, the uh, the pedal actually falls into place rather nicely. So now I can use the pedal. That'll be fun. And doesn't look bad. I don't know what's the better angle, but from right there, you can see it bolts in fucking perfect. You just honed out those holes, bolt it on, fucking good to go. I'm proud of myself. I did something.
gas pedal works. She's outside. I don't know what to do with all this space. Oh wait, yeah I do. I gotta get rid of that fucker. Um, it was nice being able to back the car out. I was able to clean up, make sure there's no debris, nuts, bolts, whatever. Sweep everything, get it all clean. It's nice to see this thing outside. It hasn't been outside in forever. Fucking dirty though. Thing probably hasn't been washed in four years. I don't even know. We'll see what we get done. Figure out what to do next. I gotta mount these. I gotta drill those out so I can mount the actual hood, you know, so it doesn't fly open. Um, the engine bay is pretty much buttoned up. I just have to fasten down the battery. Get them out the bumper. What else? I guess I can start working on the dash. Clean this up, mount the other seat. I gotta finish painting all back here. As you can see, I didn't do any of it. So I don't, maybe that'll happen pretty soon. Also got to make guards for right here. I'm just going to do it out of some hard plastic I got. I'm going to swap out the fenders because those are all dented up and just fucked. But huge progress. Huh. Still got to put coolant in it. I haven't done that yet. Um, probably just going to put water in it for right now. Yeah, just water because I'm just running the RS radiator for right now. Once I get a better aftermarket radiator, I'm going to put actual coolant in it. I don't want to waste money. I don't want to get any debris in it. I don't just, just don't want to fuck it up. But right now, I'm going to pull the pig back in into its home. I'm going to go get some Five Guys because I want me some cheeseburgers because I'm a fat kid. Um, but yeah. So far, so good. Let's see what we can do after lunch. Well, as per usual, lunch slowed me down. Not a shocker. It's what happens with fat kids. It's whatever. I did go ahead, I de-loomed some stuff, so I cleaned up the wiring that's over there. Uh, fixed up a little bit more of this shit, and installed that little bitch. So that's cool. Um, next, I gotta get the ECU more fastened into place because as you can see, it's kind of in there. I have to make sure I got the mounting cracked. Um, fidget around with that a little bit. Uh, next, or I mean, also, I also fixed a broken tab on. 
my gauge cluster. Broke it right there. Some little JB Quick weld. Fucking did the trick, I think. We'll see. But next. Dash? Yep, pretty much everything figured out. Maybe I'll dick with a dash. Well, I'm calling it a day. Got the dash in for the most part. Uh, still has to level out a little bit, I guess you'd say. Got to bring it up over this way a little bit. As you can see, clusters in. I got the trim piece on. Got to fuck around with this stuff right here. Put the radio in right there. Um, got the ECU in place. 100% so I'm not taking that back out. That is good to go. Uh, there's a few other things I wish I could do tonight, but I'm running out of time. Um, I remember what they were because I'm starting to get tired, but looking pretty good. I just got to fasten down the dash a little bit more. I don't know, maybe do clamps or something up from the bar to level it out. Not really sure. But as you can see, the window controls are still pretty functional. Easy to get to. Um, guess I'm going to call it a night. Run out of shit to do, run out of brain function, so that's when you should probably, probably stop. But yeah, thanks for watching. Check back for more. Uh, next time, not sure, maybe I'll mount bumpers and finish hanging the exhaust. I don't know, I, I gotta make a new list. But yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.